tutorial 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 so in the previous video I was showing the intro and my hair was longer but this time I will show you the rest of the song now actually you can play the intro for the verses and the pre-chorus it's just the chorus and the bridge that you'll have to learn which is chords I don't know if you know chords but the chords that will be used is A minor F C and G the way I will be numbering my fingers is different from piano way of numbering because my thumb is essentially at the back of the fretboard the entire time so first finger, second finger, third finger and little finger just for your reference to play A minor you have to use your first three fingers you put your middle finger on the fourth string on the second fret third finger, third string, second fret first finger on the second string of the first fret And you hold there nice and hard with your thumb supporting you at the back and you strum so the strumming pattern is down up down down up down now I don't know if this is the actual pattern but it seems to be one that suits the song if that's hard just first get the chords and then listen to the song and see what pattern that you're able to play. The second chord is F. This is not the entire chord but this is how I play it. You also use the same fingers and you put your first finger on the second string of the first fret, second finger on the third string of the second fret, third finger on the third fret, fourth string. On your first finger when you're holding the second string also hold the first string that'll sound better as opposed to try that or mute it or just lightly touch it so that it doesn't make a sound this is the entire chord but it's not completely necessary at least for now so this is F and the third chord would be C take your second and third finger and shift them one level up and you keep your first finger right where it is so that's C and for C you should not be touching the first string C. So again, first finger where it was on F, your second finger will be on the fourth string of the second fret and your third finger will be on the fifth string of the third fret. I'll show you the last chord and then we'll talk about how many times you should play each chord, okay? Because that's how I learn chord progression. I first get to know the chords, how to place my fingers and then go on to how many times I should play it and what kind of strumming. Okay, the easiest way in this progression to play G is to just, again, these two, f the second and third finger are just being promoted and promoted. Promote them one more time, respectively, into the fifth and sixth string. And you have to use your pinky this time, right on the end of the third fret, which is the first string. This is stung to sting almost. So for G, your second finger will be on the fifth string of the second fret, third finger will be on the sixth string of the third fret, little finger, third fret, first string. People play it like this, but you can also play it like this. Since we are using a similar shape, it's easier if you just shift these two up and put your pinky right there on the first string. It's probably hard if you're just starting to play guitar to use your little finger, but please use it because it needs to be used. It's there in your hand. Let's go through that again. Okay, so we have A minor, F, C, and G. How many times do we play each chord? First, listen to the song and just get the sound of chords in your head and where the sound changes. First, I want to seek you, I want to seek you. Once you've got that in your head, let's break it down. One cycle of A minor, down, up, down, and then we shift to F, down. Shift to C, shift to G. We repeat this four times, and when we come to the fourth set of chords, instead of playing G at the end, we continue to stay on C. First. Two. And then back to the intro. That 
that's the way it goes. Okay, I want to uh, give you some tips about strumming. Um, I'm using my thumb right now. This part of the thumb. And I'm not trying to be harsh because then it may sound bad. So I'm being even on all the strings. That way it gives it a nice smooth flow. And if you're using a pick, well and good. Do the same thing and try to be as even on these strings as possible so that one string does not get dominant over the others. Also, when you are playing chords and you find that you're not able to play evenly, just stick to the strings that you are holding here. So for example, if it's A minor and you're playing the entire thing and parts of it are sounding jarring, just stick to the second, third and fourth string. You know, stick to a smaller width and then it'll be safer. Now for the bridge. You are my treasure and my reward. It's F, C, G four times. F and the second, third finger from motion. Second, third finger from motion. Add that little finger right there. Oh, and remove this first finger for the G. Since it's a mellow bridge, I'm just playing one strum each. So that's one, two, one, two, one, two. Count twice. That is mostly it, folks. This is for the verse. And we learned the chorus. And we learned the bridge just now. So what say we just go through the entire thing? One, two, three, go. to the chorus.
can see at the end. That is first by Lauren Daigle and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and ask me what song you'd like to learn next and I'll be happy to do so. This is Vianne Damaris on How To Thursdays. Signing off.